The objective of the two-day training on transforming technological ideas into business organized by CTAT is to train the youths on various opportunities in the technological space. Our technology is taking every part of our activities, ranging health, education, agriculture, most of our life, the information technology is taking it. So with this idea, we have uh, a lot of youths having the technology idea. They have the solution in their brain, but they lack a space or guidance uh, to help them to bring this uh, idea into reality. But with this program, we have uh, organized uh, a kind of uh, a program so that those with idea will come to see that. We'll sit down with them and explore more on that idea, give them uh, support, give them ideas, help them to see how to build that uh, uh, idea. The first part of the training comprised 30 participants. We invited uh, uh, 20 participants. But as of now, I have, uh, we have like 15 participants that they are here. But uh, we are starting with less participants so that we can, the program will be a continuous program. So that uh, later in the time, we'll be inviting different uh, participants with different ideas. And the door is open. Anybody with idea, uh, uh, information technology, with technology idea can come and join and see how we can help them uh, uh, in terms of skills in terms of uh, even a financial support because we have sometimes, a lot of times, we see uh, a grant, like uh, some organization, uh, international NGOs, they are giving grants on how to support this uh, technology idea. Center for Information Technology and Development, CTAT, remains committed in supporting the youths in information technology for self-reliance. Mohamed Adamu, AIT News, Kano.